I'm done. I'm exhausted. Here is just a small taste. The morale is at an all-time low. Of how Texas teachers feel. They are being pulled apart like rubber bands. About teaching. I love my school. I love my principal. I love the kids. I love the parents. But something needs to change. These teachers spoke at recent school board meetings in Little Elm. But data suggests educators at all school districts in Texas would say the same things. We're losing people at, at alarming rates. In 2022, 77% of Texas teachers surveyed said they had seriously considered quitting the profession. TEA data shows 11.5% did quit. It's the highest attrition rate recorded in at least 15 years. Page after page of open teaching jobs across Texas proves there's a real shortage. We are failing to put professionals in front of our students to provide them with the education that they deserve. So I, I don't think it's one thing. I think it's many things. Bob Popinski is a senior policy director at the nonprofit Raise Your Hand Texas, and he lives with a stressed out educator. My wife is one of those teachers who's been teaching for, for over 20 years, so it, it hits home pretty hard. He blames low pay, an excessive workload, and a lack of support. Teachers say it is not possible to do all of the paperwork Texas requires and teach in a 40-hour week. One of my new teachers said that he would love to stay here another year, but he's spending 10 hours a day and coming up on weekends. My husband will not let me come up on weekends anymore. I have done that for 13 years at this high school. 13. And he said no more. A four-day week is a trend to give teachers time to plan and catch up. The TEA is not tracking districts who've made the move, but teaching associations count 40 districts across the state, 15 in North Texas. I would definitely agree to a four-day week just to see if it would help change anything. But Raise Your Hand Texas believes the real power to change teachers' lives lies with lawmakers. With this historic amount of surplus, if we don't invest in our students now, when are we going to actually do it? They're lobbying for less paperwork, more pay, more mentors more mental health counseling, and most important, more respect.